track and Jose already starting to feel some impacts, and that's felt along the south coast where we have a high surf advisory that's up until 8 p.m. tonight for dangerous rip currents and increased increased swell from some of the swell that's arriving from Jose. So all the areas in purple, including the vineyard in Nantucket and along the south coast, have that increased risk of high surf today. Meanwhile, this morning it's all about the fog. It's thick in spots, a dense fog right now from Worcester to Orange, and it's out there in patches. So just be aware of that. In the meantime, temperatures are running in the 60s right now. It's humid, and we're coming into the upper 60s to low 70s by later on today. An increase went off the ocean means the coastline will be right around 70 for highs today. Low to mid 70s inland. Low clouds and patchy fog will burn off and lift and give way to some peaks of sunshine today. Meanwhile, here is Jose. It's spinning about uh, just over 500 miles south and southwest of Nantucket and about 400 miles west of Bermuda right now. It has weakened just a little bit. Do you notice the satellite imagery here? It's not like an uh, Irma here where we have this classic hurricane shape. Moving to the north at nine miles per hour right now. It's kind of ragged in appearance, but what's going to happen here with Jose is that as it makes its way northward, it will likely remain a category one hurricane through the day tomorrow and then transition to a tropical storm. Some bands of rain will arrive to New England as early as tomorrow morning. They'll be light at first, but I wouldn't be surprised to have some downpours in there, particularly in southeastern Massachusetts by tomorrow evening and night. It's not going to be raining nonstop the entire time. We're going to get these tropical bands that rotate in off the ocean. Wednesday, areas of light rain with downpours, heavier rain focused in southeastern Massachusetts to the Cape and Islands. That's where the heaviest focus of rain will be through the day on Wednesday. Lotus, the farther north and west you go, there will be lighter areas of rain, and the storm itself will pass south and east of Nantucket as we head into Wednesday night. So total rainfall amounts, this is just kind of a general overview. Don't focus on the exact numbers but the trend a three to five inch amounts for south shore back down to the cape lesser amounts north and west of boston but we could see a couple of inches in and around the city meanwhile the strongest winds will be focused from tuesday night through the day on wednesday tuesday evening we may start to get some tropical storm force winds on the cape and islands then we may gust 30 to 50 miles per hour. Some higher gusts are likely for Cape Cod in the islands, especially Wednesday morning through the afternoon. The closer you are to the storm center, so somewhere like Nantucket has the greatest risk of picking up a gust 60 plus miles per hour. But I even think the city of Boston through the North Shore will see some tropical storm force gusts as well. Of course, that's going to build up the seas. High surf, rough seas resulting in minor to moderate pockets of coastal flooding. We have high astronomical high tides as well. One of the bigger things, severe beach erosion is likely, particularly in the uh, outer Cape back down to Nantucket here from Jose. Thursday, we're likely to see some areas of lingering rain as well as Jose weakens but kind of stalls south and east of us. Should be out of here for the upcoming weekend, though, with improvement in sunshine temperatures in the 70s.